mentioned, Muslims are experiencing Jesus through dreams and visions, and it's a growing phenomenon in the Islamic world. Julie Stahl has the testimonies of several men who say Jesus supernaturally appeared to them and changed their lives forever. Take a look. The phenomenon of these dreams and visions has spread throughout the Muslim world from Indonesia to Morocco and beyond. Several years ago, Ali went on the Hajj, the Muslim pilgrimage to Mecca. Of course, when I went to Mecca, I was going there in order to pay homage to the Kaaba and to fulfill the requirements in Islam. Ali's experience in Mecca is dramatized in this DVD called More Than Dream. But that night I saw Jesus in a dream. First, Jesus touched my forehead with his finger. And after touching me, he said, you belong to me. And then he touched me above my heart. You have been saved, follow me. You belong to me, he said. So I decided, okay, I am not going to finish the Hajj, the pilgrimage. Whatever it takes, I am going to follow that voice. In addition to Ali's story, the DVD tells of other Muslims who came to faith in Jesus through a dream or vision. We're seeing that all around. We're hearing about people that have never even thought about Jesus as Savior. They're content Muslims and they're having dreams over and over. Tom Doyle serves in E3 Ministries. He and his wife Joanna take the gospel to the Muslim world. Tom also wrote the upcoming book, Dreams and Visions, Is Jesus Awakening the Muslim World? I think our God is a fair God. He's righteous and just. When people are seeking, they don't know where to go. Maybe they don't have a Bible. Maybe there's no missionary in the village. He'll get the message to them somehow.